If you're watching this video, you probably know someone who's been affected by cancer. After all, cancer is the second most common cause of death in developed countries, accounting for more than 600,000 deaths a year in the United States alone. Here's something a little bit macabre to wrap your heads around. One in three people watching this video will die of some form of cancer. But while skin, breast, lung, colon, and prostate cancer are all relatively common, you don't really hear about anyone developing heart cancer. Wonder why that could be? My name is Hashem Mashur and I'm a University of Cambridge graduate and student doctor. And this is my YouTube channel, Doctor Tell Me Why, where I get to talk about anything I want, so long as it's medicine or health related. Basically, your one-stop shop to better understand the inner workings of your human and very mortal body. And today I'll be telling you why heart cancer is one thing that should not keep you up at night, explaining some basic prerequisites for developing cancer along the way. Heart cancer is very rare, so rare in fact that most specialized heart hospitals see less than one case a year. And cardiothoracic surgeons, well, a lot of them can go through their entire careers without seeing a single case of heart cancer. In fact, heart cancers are so rare that they only affect 1.38 people per 100,000 a year. To put this in perspective, according to the National Geographic, the odds of being struck by lightning during your lifetime are around 1 in 3,000. Ow, ouch! But what makes heart cancer so rare is the same exact thing that makes the heart so vulnerable to heart attacks and makes their consequences so devastating for the heart. Your heart is great, but if you don't take care of it, you're f because heart cells typically cannot divide and they cannot regenerate. Your skin cells, for example, are constantly dividing and regenerating, which is great because it's the reason why your skin can heal from injuries like cuts and things like acne scars. Meanwhile, your heart can't do the same exact thing. The heart cells that you're born with will most likely be the heart cells that you take with you to the grave. You're stuck with them, just like you're stuck in quarantine right now. And cell division is an integral part of cancer development as it's the mutations that often arise during cell divisions that will give cells their cancer properties. Further cell division then allows these mutations to be passed on to all the cells arising from that OG cell. So essentially the higher the turnover, as in the higher the rate of cell division in a given time frame, the higher the chances of mutations arising and these mutations being passed on through generations. And heart cells, well, they don't really divide at all. You can say that they're so specialized and so organized at what they do that they've reached some sort of biological endpoint. The word I was looking for was uh, terminally differentiated. <laughs> and besides, the heart usually leads a really sheltered life, protected from mutagens, agents in the environment that cause genetic mutations. Things like UV light, cigarette smoke, nitrates and food and certain viruses which often affect other organs. And unlike breast tissue and the prostate gland, the heart isn't at the mercy of certain steroid hormones like testosterone and estrogen. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to do the only sensible thing to do, and that is to subscribe for more great quality content just like this. If you subscribe, you'll get to see my beautiful face, as well as learn about the coolest medical conditions, and I'll present to you the latest groundbreaking research, as well as give you top tips on living a healthier life. As promised, it really is a one-stop shop, the Amazon of medical YouTube channels. Does that make me Jeff Bezos? Does that make me a billionaire now? The answer is a resounding no.